Welcome back all you fragrance fanatics and beauty babes. If somebody told me that I could only have five perfume brands to choose my perfumes from for the rest of my life, what five brands would they be? Let me tell you. Of course, this is a totally imaginary scenario. Um, you know, no one is forcing me to only have five brands or perfume houses, but I just thought it would be fun to kind of think like, if, if that was the case, if I was only allowed to have five to be able to pull perfumes from, which five would they be? And you would think that number one on my list would be Burberry, but no, honestly, no. I, you know, I love Burberry goddess, to, you know, that is my ride or die but there's really nothing else from them that's impressed me. Um, you know, give it a few years, maybe if they come out with some different things and some more things that I'm really loving. But for now, I'm just not really impressed with really any of their stuff except for the queen, Burberry Goddess. So I don't feel like, you know, if I can only have five perfume brands, it doesn't seem logical to have that one in my five. So the first brand we're gonna talk about is The Seven Virtues. They have created like, just like chef's kiss, beautiful, cannot live without sense. And I feel like if this was one of the only brands or, or houses I could choose from, I could pull from perfumes from, I would be completely happy with that because they've just been coming out with bangers like left and right and I'm just, I'm here for it. Next up would be Paris Corner. I think they do amazing, beautiful perfumes for such affordable costs. And they're always coming out with something new and their bottles are always fun. And I feel like I would never get bored with this brand or, or house. I just feel like I would constantly be excited for what's next. Um, so yeah, I would definitely go with Paris Corner. Next up would have to be Lancome because they have so many different um, perfumes that I love. Like for instance, the Le Nuit Treasure Collection. This one is the, the Nude and love Citrus Coconut Sunshine. Love this one. And then they also do the Adol collection and this one is the Adol Nectar which I thoroughly enjoy because it smells like the most delicious salty popcorn and thick sweet sticky caramel it's just ooh, it's so good and then they also do the La Via Belle line I love those this one's my favorite it's the Iris Absolute and it's so powdery and fresh and feminine with that iris and so it, so Lancome would have to be one of them Another brand that I would have to have would be Latafa. They do, again, amazing perfumes for very affordable cost. They're always coming out with something new. They're always in interesting bottles. And I would never get bored. And, and, and this one is one of my favorites, the most like milky creamy. You can almost, you can almost taste like this, the creamy froth off of um, the pina colada. It's a, it's a virgin pina colada. I always have to specify that because this is not boozy in any way. This is just, it just reminds me of a, a blended up fresh pina colada with that coconut and pineapple and it's so creamy, milky goodness. Uh, very tropical, love this one. And then also one of my absolute favorites, Kamra. Like this is, this is a masterpiece and it's a perfect fall, it's like fall time in a bottle. So it, they make so many that I love. And so it, that particular brand would have to be one of them. And last but not least, I would choose Valentino because I love the original Donna Born Aroma. I, the Intense is one of my ride or dies. And I really love the Green Stravaganza. And I really enjoy all the other ones. And I enjoy like their new releases too. Like, oh, what are they coming up with next? Like it's always exciting and interesting. And um, 
So I feel like I would be happy with them as well. So I would love to know in the comment section if you could only have five, what would they be? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.